Life isn't fun. Then I'll do what I need to do, I guess. <laughs> Is that really what that's for? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? We're making a poster. What do? Okay. So, what ideas do you have? So I was thinking we could do like kind of pass through the episodes. Okay. Until we end back at the like we see the train here, or the wall, like. Doo. Looks like a board game. I don't know, like, what kind of poster are we going for? Are we going yeah. for... One lesson everyone learns in art school is to ignore your first idea and come up with something better. But every now and then, we brainstorm for hours just to end up back at that first idea. Like, if it's just a train, and then, like, the wall on top of it, and then that's over a gravestone, kind of layer. This is, see, this is kind of my original idea yeah. of doing this, like almost like a board game map. And I think yeah. it could, it doesn't have to be respecting perspective. Board game. I just want to see if people have made like board game posters at all. Yeah, Monopoly. You said another one that was good. Shoots and Ladders. Shoots and Ladders. Or was it Snakes and Ladders? Snakes and Ladders, but I think it's both. I love this. Yeah, that's awesome. We could do like yeah. a reference to Snakes like, and Ladders. Oh, can you save that? Yeah. Cause this is such a, this would be such a neat you way to put it. some scenes in. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That is cool. And I like this. that a lot. Cool, cool, cool. This is the most exciting concept to me so far. Yeah, I cool, cool. All, All right. right. Nice. Break. We could do like a bottom that runs over it, mm -hmm. like over the whole bottom edge of the board and have that be the wall. Okay. I mean, maybe it's just that we, we add one extra row and, and then, then maybe some gravestones, yeah. Oh, I was gonna do over the garden wall, but then yeah. I mean, like, it can be like over that. these gravestones as well. There's like a bit of- Or it um, could be wall and then one big gravestone. Ooh. This could be over the garden. Mm -hmm. Wall. So that could be our game's title. Yeah. Credit mm -hmm. block, logos. Now I'll take the ruler. <laughs> I like this. Now we can start diving more into the specifics of the composition, creating thumbnail sketches for every one of the episodes and story arcs, deciding along the way how to best depict each piece of the story trying to balance characters, objects, interior and exterior scenes, and make them flow together in order. We didn't get through all of the panels and left a lot blank because we really needed to start figuring out color before we went any further. So my, my thoughts with color were like, you know, limited palette, like three or four color. Um, I've also got, you know, I was really, I, I like this, but yeah, it's a bit too much like our old poster. Agree. And then I think we could do something, this is kind of still what I was talking about, like where we've got like the positive or the negative space, the backdrop is still colored. So maybe like, all of the, cause this is showing me that the blank spots can maybe. be like a variety of colors maybe. Yeah. Or like one or maybe we choose two that mm -hmm. kind of flicker between just so it doesn't look like a chessboard. Yeah. Cause that's what I don't like about this is that really it just it's reads as a chess, chess or checkers. And it kind of, it works like if we didn't want to keep them all this exact every other one, you know, they've, they've got some here where they're stacked on top of each other and the color indicates that that's fine. Like, I don't know. To start blocking in the colors, we sample a palette from the reference work we liked and fill it in square by square, roughly based on the context of the scene. We tweaked each color individually as we went, saturating some and desaturating others so they would all play nicer together, and ditched the yellow background, which left us with a nice enough looking design, but one that is very uniform and missing any contrast and scale. We really wanted it to look less like a board game and more like a poster. So what if, just in theory, you have like... Can you show us the Beatrice somewhere? Ooh. Maybe we're just done. What about our trains? Like, like smoke billowing over. Cut 
cutting across the lines. But that's already pretty cool. And maybe it's smaller, yeah. So. I kinda like it. I like these little elements breaking the frame. Oh, you think it should be going? Yeah, coming from that way, maybe, and then the smoke can come up. Mmm, okay. It's kind of interesting. That's and it could just become more like, it's like... Yeah, 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 I agree. It could be trees on this yeah. side. Yeah, it, it could be more detailed so we know it's smoke. And then like, I don't know, I, I'm seeing different ways we can like highlight it, like have little, maybe little shadows or something to show it's got some dimension, but... Now that we're more settled on our composition and where everything is going to go, we can start finalizing our drawings and get them closer to what will be vectorized in Illustrator. I do this in Photoshop because it's more similar to real drawing, whereas in Illustrator, you're really just manipulating shapes and uh, much easier to be tracing at that point rather than freehand drawing. This can be the most tedious part of the process, but it's also where the most changes are made on the fly like flipping the train to the opposite side of the composition and making sure each element fits together nicely before we go in and add typography. For our type lockup, I started by exploring my entire catalog of slab serifs and decorative typefaces to find something that felt a bit turn of the century, but equally worked in a funky mid-century palette. We decided on HWT Edda in the variant West for our primary typeface. However, we found it was a little busy out of the box, so we made some tweaks, filling in some of the small lines that were affecting the overall legibility. After that, we added a few branches within the logo and also added a cute Western style glyph from HWT Catchwords for the V to break up the size of the logo a bit and keep it interesting. To add a bit of depth and texture, we also painted in some half tones before applying a few textures in Photoshop and After Effects to get our final results. Led through the mist by the milk light of moon, all that was lost is revealed. Our long bygone burdens, mere echoes of the spring. But where have we come, and where shall we end? If dreams can't come true, then why not pretend? Ooh, yeah. How Such the gentle it. wind beckons through the leaves as autumn colors fall. They feel like an uh, Easter egg, you know? This looks like a baby. It was <laughs> a little pee pee. <laughs> oh my god. It's because you're looking for that. Look for pee pee.